So what is going on guys? We are back with another video today and we're doing something a little bit different. We are uh, doing the New England Patriots rebuild and you're like, well, that makes no sense because they're debatably the best team in the league right now. And um, my agreement to that is it's different. It's five years in the future and we have a different team. So Gronkowski is still on the team. Uh, I have no idea what these rosters are like. Uh, Gronk is on the team. He's a 96 overall. Probably regressing quite a bit considering he starts as a 99. And um, I'm not going to lie. I did not think this team was going to be this bad. I would assume we probably hit some sort of uh, cash issue and the team pretty much just died. I really didn't think it was going to be this bad. I have no idea what any of the situations are like. Uh, one of the things I do want to see, though, if I can figure it out, is what are coaches like for Super Bowls? I have no clue. So I'm going to have to find that. So uh, we can see here that our coach did not win anything. So, uh, oh, Pete Carroll's the uh, best active, which means he's won. Okay, so he's just got championships. But um, normally the Patriots do win the Super Bowl. Of course, as a user, they don't. And, um, yeah, we do have 13,000 XP. I have no idea the salary. I'm assuming it's got to be a good, you know, it's got to be a good situation. Okay, so the salary cap is about 182 mil, 125 mil salaries. Um, a lot of expensive players, considering they're not great. Um, you look at our overall, this is going to be one of the hardest rebuilds I've had to do. I'm not even going to lie. Um, we have a really terrible team. We, this is without a doubt the... I have no idea developments and all that. But from the looks of it, this is the worst team we've ever rebuilt. Uh, not even a question. Um, so we're going to try to do our best. I would assume it'll turn out all right. We still have Gronk, who I have no idea how old he is. He's got to be really old by now. 32 years old. So we might actually look to trade Gronk, which is going to be rough because that's the only actual player we have here that's from, not even just from the, the Patriots, but in general. I mean, you look around and most of these guys are youngsters. Um, I'm kind of curious to see what other players are like. I would assume Rodgers is close to retirement. He's 89 overall, which means he's he's almost there. Uh, lots of players that, you, you know, there's going to be a lot of random guys. So uh, this should be a fun rebuild. Hopefully it'll be a successful one. Can't promise anything, but it should definitely be fun. I had to show you guys this real quick. Joe Aiden. Oh, my God. He's a 78 overall. He's 32 years old. Look at these players. Oh my god, it's so weird seeing this. Like, it's so weird, but insanely awesome at the same time. Another quick uh, stop. The uh, Chargers are actually the Crusaders now. Um, they actually do have a lot of their original players. But I uh, just thought I would show you guys that. So here we trade Joe Hayden, Quinn Rollins in a third round for the Niners first round and first round, pretty much first uh, rounds for the next this year and the next year to so retrade Tyler Lockett Nelson Aguilar and a fourth round for wire and Huber who are both young players uh, Kind of cheap don't know what their contract situation is since I don't even know what anyone's contract situation is our team is looking rough um, We have some youth. It's just they're really low overalls, like just really low. So here we trade our left tackle, our left end, and a second round draft pick this year. I know that's a little steep for uh, some random backup quarterback, a fourth round draft pick, and a wide receiver who is six foot six and he has superstar development trait. I know our left tackle is uh, also, I, I don't know if he was superstar development trait, but he had decent development trait, but Offense is key, and offense alignment we could always draft anytime, just about. So, I'm actually surprised this trade happened at all. We trade our backup free safety, our starting right end, but Demontre Moore does not belong as a starter on any team. For a random 73 overall middle linebacker, Gerald Hodges, and a rookie running back who is absolutely insane. But look at the stats and look at the development trade. This guy is actually really solid. He's young. He's definitely a guy you would want to build a team around. So, um, of course, we have uh, we have some skill around us. So here we trade Tyrod Taylor, Max Garcia, and Cameron Fleming, I believe, for the Ravens backup left tackle who does have quick development trade. His stats are a little rough. Um, but, honestly, with the way this league is developed through the five years, not many teams actually have that much talent. So, uh, you know, as much as I felt like our team is really bad, which it is, um, you compare it around the league, and it's not much worse. I mean, I would still say we're top 25 worst 
I, I guess top seven worst is what I meant to say. So we trade Kiko Alonso, Monte Teo, and a third round next year for the Niners' second and third round picks this year. So basically, I did my best. I did as much as I could, and this is what we have. I have no idea where the talent is. Um, most of the teams in the league don't even look good either. Um, we do have some XP to use, so that, you know, maybe that's, that's something we could use. Um, let's see, spend team XP. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, so we actually do have quite a bit of XP, so I'll, I'll upgrade them. Uh, so we got Rob Gronk, who really is expensive. Uh, this Russell guy, we're going to definitely trade him if we can. Um, I believe this is the guy we just got Superstar. So a lot of these guys are really cheap, and it's really, it's really interesting because, you know, we have so much money. Holy shit, we have more money than I thought we did. Um, but we have so much freaking money because... We don't have that many great players. I would say this is going to be the worst year one of all time. This could very well be a 2-14, and 14, maybe worse. We might actually lose all 16 games. Um, the only thing that would say maybe not is Gronk and the quarterback. Uh, but so far, hey, we're on pace. Players that uh, could be switching sports, which makes them uh, likely for the development trait of Superstar. And that's pretty much what we need, D'Avant Eagles. I thought it was actually like Avant. And we got a rugby player going to the football, which I believe he looks like some sort of pass rusher. Um, and then we also have a quarterback, but I don't care. So Tavares Jackson, which is, you know, it's kind of ironic. It's kind of the face of the Patriots for the future. You know, Tom Brady's going to be gone much before, I would assume, Gronk does leave. So unless it's like a money issue. Um, but hey, we're, uh, we're on to... Uh, not the playoffs, so we're going to the playoffs. We're simming there, but we're yeah, we're not going to be in there. We're very well, most likely going to be 2-14, and 14, something, maybe even worse. Who knows? So, of course, we do not make the playoffs, and we are 1-15, the greatest bad record in the history of rebuilds. 1-15, nothing surprising at all there, and our quarterback barely outthrows touchdowns to interceptions. Uh, rushing, I am very disappointed with that. I can see why he didn't do well. We don't have the greatest O-line. We don't have the greatest anything. Um, Francisco is actually not terrible. Um, O-line played a lot better than I thought they did, but those aren't the numbers that only matter. Uh, interceptions. Uh, Hoover, the guy we just traded for, did have three, which isn't terrible. Seven sacks. Nothing spectacular. Our rookie kicker, who's no longer a rookie, was terrible. Missing eight field goals on 20 attempts. That's very bad. That's really bad. That's probably top five worst in the league. Speaking of top five worst, worst in offensive yardage, and it doesn't show defensive. I would assume very close to worst in that as well. Um, is that a quarterback? I would assume that some sort of quarterback gets the award for the Saints. The Bears go 14-2. and two. Uh, Le'Veon Bell still going strong. Offensive rookie of the year. Bell Tongue. Uh, offensive, uh, not offensive rookie year. Offensive player of the year. Offensive rookie of the year was actually our guy. Very uh, generous there, 100%. Uh, our guy was not good at all. I don't care what they say. But we definitely could use it, and they gave it to us. And I would assume that's the only other award we're going to win, and it is. So, I mean, we have... A long way to go, but hopefully this draft is good. So, defensive tackles. We'll see. I normally don't go at a 4-3, so I might actually try it this year. Uh, this rebuild. Really not seeing any spectacular players in general. I've seen a couple of decent guys, but nothing, nothing crazy. I mean, development trade is really where all of it matters anyways. Big Ben actually does retire, believe it or not. Uh, so, let's take a look at... He schedules goat so AJ Green um, I don't know if he retired or not but he's apparently good enough to uh, potentially be the best of all time so the Crusaders did outplay them it would appear two picks doesn't help Alvin Gordon Tevin Coleman very weird names to see as like starters so uh, Tyler Lockett almost wins a ring being traded right from us that would have been kind of that kind of would have stung Rob Gronkowski has regressed hard, and it is really rough because I want to keep him, but there's no way I can do it. You know, there's just no way. I'm going to lowball him just... Oh, whoa, wait. Okay, so that was a four-year. 
How much is the franchise tag? 14. Sorry, we can't keep you. He regressed hard. Really hard. Our guy regressed as well, but that's because of uh, just lack of skill on the season. Um, but of course, we do have 95 million, about 96 million actually. And we're going to be signing some free agents. Grok is the biggest name in free agency. So uh, we have two contracts that were accepted. I'm a little surprised um, any of them were accepted. I did offer a few decent uh, contracts. Most of them were BS ones, though, um, because I didn't want to spend too much money on guys that aren't really going to be there for the long haul. Um, so there's a lot of guys that don't even have... Okay, so for some of these guys, I'm going to withdraw this one. This one was a complete low ball. The other ones are also very low ball-like. So we were actually able to get these guys. I can't believe how cheap we got these guys for. Of course, uh, they he took someone else's off at the tight end did. But uh, Nick Perry signed for like under two mil for one year. Uh, Burks, I was a really low deal. And then Will Lutz is like a four year, about one mil a year deal. So basically we got lucky with a lot of these guys that somehow nobody wanted them. Start the draft. We really need a top pick. I think we have our own pick, so we have to have number one. We do have number one. Thank Christ for that as our other picks, 16 and 26. you got to be kidding me. Our middle linebacker is supposed to go mid, but he's not even close to the best available. So we're going to try to trade down as much as we can. Didn't look any spectacularness. 3-4 uh, tackler. We're going to take our middle linebacker. Mm, normal development trait, but hey, at this point, he's actually not bad. He's really talented. He just has normal development trait. Fair enough. I don't know if it's worth it. I'm going to take him anyways. Another normal development trait. He is really strong. Another decent player. I mean, I would love to see Superstar. Maybe that is. Maybe the league really is just not good for development players. That free safety is still there. How can I not draft him? He's got to have bad development, man. He's got to. He's got to have bad development. He's just not good. He has to be. He has to be bad. Uh, our cornerback is there. I'm going to just take him. Normal again. And he's not even that good. God damn, man. I'm just going to take the free safety. I don't even care. I think he might be decent. Superstar development trades. So, skills aren't really there. Not a question. They're not really there. But he has superstar development trade. He's got potential. He's going to play for us. I don't care. So here we go. We got the really fast guy. He's pretty much useless. Um, he's fast. That's all I know. I don't know if he's got any juking stats. That's all we drafted him for. So I don't know if he's a bust or not. He's got normal development traits. So. so our guy was about like pretty much the same as our... Uh, the guy that we missed was pretty much the same as the guy we drafted. Um, might be a little bit better, but same development trait and everything. So here we trade Andrew Billings. Star Ludalele and a third round draft pick this year for the young Gideon from the Titans. Um, he's like 26 years old, but he's already got like, I think it's five years of experience in the league. He started really young. Yeah, he started at 21 years old and he's already really solid. Um, with his 75 speed, he could actually play either a 3-4 or a 4-3. Not exactly sure what we want to play just yet. We'll see um, kind of with the way our team is built. This guy's actually not bad either. The guy we signed in free agency. Might actually just start. So we trade a first round, a third round, and a fourth round this year for John, the 82 overall linebacker from the Ravens, I believe, is quick development trade. And uh, he should be a starting little middle linebacker. We are going to have to move around some players. And they actually draft some really good linebackers. He's got, these Ravens are pretty good. So we trade Nick Perry, Brandon Graham, and a second round draft pick for the Raiders defensive tackle, who is young but might need a contract. That's the biggest worry I have is if you've seen, like I said, a lot of these uh, players now are getting so much money because of their um, because of the salary cap and the lack of talent around. So here we trade a first round, a second round, and Danny Trevathan for a 80 overall left tackle who does have superstar development trait. We are going to try and get uh, some more draft picks. So here we do trade Chris Harris Jr. third round for our first round pick back from the Niners. So here we trade our decent young right end and a sixth round for their decent uh, kind of young tight end. So here we trade our backup center, who is young and has quick development trade for a first round from the Cardinals. We do also get rid of our third and fourth round draft pick this year, though. So here we trade our former starting free safety and a seventh round draft pick this year for the middle linebacker <clears throat> from the Buccaneers, which does 
complete our linebacker core. So we trade a third, fourth, and a sixth round this year. For the Browns cornerback, who's a five-year guy, he is a superstar development trait, which almost 100% tells me he is going to need a contract this year that we actually got him for a decent price. Let's get his awareness up. Actually have an elite receiver, maybe, or at least close to. He looks pretty good, so it wouldn't surprise me. And 83 overall, we finally have somebody decent. And uh, let's get into the regular season. I think we should go at least 8-8. Eight eight. We'll see. So, uh, according to this, we actually only have one big name to resign, which is pretty freaking huge, if you ask me. Um, and we, of course, are going to resign him. He is the superstar development trait tight end that we got. We didn't. What? what? Hold up. We lost 31-2. to two. I don't know who I should feel more embarrassed about. Honestly, Kaepernick. I, I That's the only thing I don't like is when they use names that are very rare. Because it's like, okay, if you're using Kaepernick, obviously, oh, he's a tight end. Ah, oh, he looks terrible. I'm still going to scout him just so I don't forget. But if you're using a name like Kaepernick or Bulaga, we know where you got the name from, pals. Like, that's a very random, rare name. So we're about to see the moment of truth. I think we should be at least 8-8. Eight who knows? I would love to see the playoffs. I don't know if we are, and we don't. The question is, 4-12, and 12, so oh, I don't get it. I thought we were going to be at least 4-5-11 and 5 and 11 or better. Uh, but our quarterback played a lot better, so I'm happy with that. Our running back, I mean, I guess he did slightly better. Um, receiving Francisco. Very good. Very good stats right there. Chris Sean Groves is very disappointing. The rookie or the young tight end with superstar development trade did very well, in my opinion. Um, sacks. Holy crap. McManet did very good with tackles. The linebacker core was really good. Uh, we were running a 4 3, and our defensive line did not do nearly as good as they should have. Um, Lester and Hoover did all right. Although Lester Doss isn't really a guy that I'm insane about. Lutz did all right. Linz Inzi, I don't know if he's did good or not and that's about it i doubt we won any awards other than you know there is a shot at best wide receiver i highly doubt it but it could happen do we have mvp or even close i keep forgetting where the patriots i did not see it i should i guess i'll look at the coach of the year not that it really matters coach of the year big surprise it goes to the guy that has the best player in the league best offensive best defensive offensive rookie of the year i don't know why I was excited about that. I don't even think we had anyone. Defensive Rookie of the Year. So we had nobody there either. Best quarterback. Best running back. Best wide out. Our guy was third, so it's not bad. Um, best O-line. Nope. Best D-line. Khalil Mack. Not even close for that. Patriots. Nowhere to be found in any of these categories, which is rough. Uh, our kicker was sixth. <laughs> the wide receiver almost got uh, best wide out. So that's it's all right, I guess. Let's take a look at XP. Um, our offense should be looking all right. Francisco is actually becoming one of the better receivers in this league, which is nice to see. The Bears and the Steelers in the Super Bowl. That is very interesting. It's going to advance the week again. I normally scout there, but... I want to get to the next week and uh, take a look at who won the Super Bowl. I would guess the Steelers. They have a much better team uh, than the Bears, in my opinion. The only thing that makes... Uh, oh, Antonio Brown just retired. So did he win the Super Bowl? Did he retire after a Super Bowl or not? Is the question. Justin Houston also retired, if you've seen that a little bit back there. And the Bears destroyed the Steelers, kind of. Um, I don't know how. Must have been Todd Gurley. Kinda. So, unless there's someone really good, I think we're not going to sign anyone. Uh, we got a quarterback in here. Holy crap. This is... So, look at the names in here. That's fucking crazy. Holy shit. That is a contract. He is so good, though. Look at the stats on the man. But, holy crap. That is a deal of deals. Patrick Peterson... Uh, he wants a one-year deal. We're not there yet. Like, we're kind of close, but we're not quite there. Quick development trait. This, you know, I don't really go for... I, I don't fight for players too much. 
But I think this guy we definitely want. Hopefully the guy at least didn't reject us. Either, ex yeah, he accepted. We do add depth. It's more than depth. What do you mean depth? That's, we've added skill. We signed pretty much the best free agent that was there, in my opinion. I don't think there was, well, the rookie, then, then the quarterback was actually better. Take that back. We now have combine stats for the draft. And I don't actually remember, you know, I've, I've said it many times before. I'm never going to not say it because I, I feel it's relevant. I've seen a 644 corner, by the way. But uh, these take so long, I don't record them every day. You know, I don't record them the whole day, the, the time I do it. I hate that regression, by the way. So, um, you know, I have no idea where we left off. And so we do need a cornerback. Offensive line has been the, uh, the main focus, I would say, for a couple years now. So we are going to... If we can, just scout everyone all the way down the line. This guy, 100%, we're drafting. Honestly, I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna lie and say that this is gonna be a great rebuild. This could easily be a bust. Not even a question. So we have this guy we want. Not sure if we're gonna take him, but this guy, 100%, we're taking. Probably gonna take him mid uh, first round. So I think we're just gonna go to the draft and pretty much draft the whole damn offensive lineman class. Third pick in the draft. The 15th pick, and I would assume we have at least one more pick, which is the 29th. Absolutely horrendous. Uh, what about our second round? Do we have one? I don't know if we have one or not. doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. So we trade our first round pick, fifth spot, our fifth and sixth round this year for the Jets spot. Three picks down and their next year second round draft pick is there. Let's take them. Hopefully we see Superstar. I'm assuming we will. Superstar development trade. He's supposed to go number two overall. Very solid pick. You, you mean you knew he was gonna be good, so there was no real like, whoa, he's so good. I mean, he's he has the kind of stats where you you could say that. Might as well screw it. Slow development rate. I mean, he still makes for a third corner regardless. So, so the cornerback that the uh, Giants took from us, who was six four, uh, did have quick development rate. So it is kind of a sucky situation to have not gotten him. I know he is. Uh, Kind of old for a rookie, I'm not going to lie about that. Um, I believe the Jets took a linebacker. and Not that we, this guy really didn't really care about um, Otis, but he apparently is very talented, extremely talented actually, 81 overall, superstar development rate. Also another 24-year-old, but still at the end of the day, he's a very great player. So here we trade uh, two young players that they actually wanted um, their... Uh, of need and a third round for the cornerback McGowan from the Chiefs who I believe has normal he might have quick but I'm not exactly sure so here we trade Earl Thomas the third Marco days or Mark days and our first round draft pick for a better first round draft pick this year so we over traded a little bit but a second round and third round this year for the Browns next year first round so we trade our third round first round and fourth round this year for a much better positioning in the first round from the Bengals. So this is the squad we are going to be going with in the 2023 season. Um, it's honestly not much better than last year's squad. We do, however, have a new cornerback, a much better wide receiver, and a young developmental offensive lineman who should be very good after season one. So it's good because we actually, I mean, we, it's not like we desperately need a cornerback. Oh, he's looking good, but that's the big position I've been looking at every year, but there is a big name and he is a quarterback. So that does add up quite a bit. And of course he is trying to make some top dollar. He deserves it. He's played very well as of late as well. He wants to stay on the team. So that's good. So we're on week 17. I would assume we made the playoffs. Our team has got to be good enough to make the playoffs. They have to be. I don't see how we could. Yeah, this is going to be a fail rebuild. So the cornerback we want is pretty much projected to go like 12th. So we might be able to get him with our fifth overall pick. Superstar of the Elmer trade. I kind of expected it since he was switching sports. Very solid player. Um, his uh, speed and all that's a lot better than I thought it was going to be because they gave him some really poor combine numbers. And we definitely have this in the bag. So that was a very easy trade. And then I don't remember what the other team was. I My memory is really bad today. That's what, like, we just, yeah, whatever, you know. I might have overtried a little bit there, but it's whatever. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's a big deal. This guy looks good too, though. Let's go Tory Childers. Normal. Damn it. Draft our cornerback. I definitely think this guy going to have quick or superstar. Uh, where is he? Von Tullock. And quick development rate. 
projection. So we drafted some really good cornerbacks this draft. Very smart. Aaron Rodgers, Von Miller, and Cameron Jordan enter the Hall of Fame. Um, Von Miller and uh, Aaron, I could definitely see. Cam Jordan, I think, is going to be one of those guys that's just going to be underrated his whole career. So I really wouldn't expect him to make it to the uh, Hall of Fame. But, I mean, who knows? To each their own. Both really decent players. Nothing spectacular. Probably have a couple of guys to resign. Nothing too spectacular, I would assume. We keep shifting in new players. I think the O-line is starting to, starting to get there with their contracts. So this might be a huge year for signing O-linemen. Get to the regular season. We should have definitely made the playoffs by now. I'm actually kind of disappointed. So week 17 is among us. Please let us make the playoffs. I swear to God, I'm going to be... Yes, so 9-7. and seven. I'm disappointed, but holy shit. Thank God we made it to this damn playoffs. I'm going to show you guys we didn't cheat because, honestly, with the way this has gone, I thought about it. <laughs> I, I definitely thought about it. By the way, I believe 3-2. Uh, so we were undefeated except for a tie in preseason. That's but for the most part, when someone scores a touchdown, they're never going to tie it up. They always go for two because no one wants to play longer than they have to um, in a preseason game. Uh, we had a really, you know, a couple of decent wins. Uh, every game we lost, to my opinion, or not my opinion, my knowledge, it was a close game. And we did beat the crap out of a few teams. So at 9-7, and seven, we're looking all right. And holy crap. What? Something went... No fucking shit something went wrong. Oh, I lost connection to the EA servers. All right. I mean... If this is... Oh, God, EA. If this is another one of those fucking nights where your servers just go down... Oh, 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 oh I'll be pissed. No. What kind of stuff do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see the awards every year? Like, if we're completely shit, do you even want to see it? Um... Loach did better, but he did fumble six times, so it is what it is. Uh, this Thomas Lloyd guy was the greatest free agency acquisition for me in franchise rebuild history, I believe. Um, offensive line was insane, which is probably why we actually did good. Sacks, this has definitely been the worst of any league. Um, I am right in the right to, uh, what is it called? I am in the right scheme. I am running a 4-3. I think it also comes down to this Darby Randall guy is severely undersized for 4-3. Um, 247, you have to either be really strong or you're probably going to struggle. Um, let's take a look at picks. Mc, uh, McMahon. Is that McMahon or McMahon? I, I don't know. Uh, so the youngster. The Okay, so pretty much everyone had two, two picks. Which is pretty nice. Will Lutz had a much better season than normal. Inzy. It's such a weird name. I can't ever get used to that. And Quincy Blakely did get a touchdown punt return. Uh, I believe he was the cornerback we drafted. Simply on his speed. Offensive yards. Eighth. Defensive yards. <laughs> Holy shit. 29th. Were we at least like a bend don't break defense? Fourth in points. That's why we made the playoffs for the first time all rebuild. Gave up 21st, so we were really bad, actually, overall. Blake Bortles did make it. I honestly don't know how he beat our guy. Our guy was next to flawless. Not even going to lie. Defensive player of the year, not even close. Uh, to my knowledge, I think the only guy we even had a chance with was our, uh, our quarterback, and he didn't win it. Blake Bortles beat him by a bit. Uh, maybe our wideout. He did win. Nice. Thomas Lloyd actually won. Our O-line's not even on the list. Actually, a little bit surprised by that. Not going to lie. And our two-line D-lineman did make it there. Uh, Reggie Raglan on the Raiders. All right. So, Jaguars had a couple of decent things. Our kicker should have been up there. He only missed three field goals. Let's take a look at the XP. And then, I mean, because I'm going to upgrade our guys as much as I can. Development trade is irrelevant at this point. Uh, it's, it's all about just trying to win now. Uh... Not great. I'll, I'll be back with you guys when we're done with this. So we're going against the Jacksonville Jaguars, ironically enough. The guys that screwed us over on awards and everything. And they're an 83, we're an 82. So maybe maybe uh, we don't really deserve to make the playoffs because, I mean, I thought we were doing good. But maybe maybe we're not to stop then. We are in the fourth quarter, so I should actually be showing the whole thing. Why? How and why is my answer... <gasps> Okay, I thought it was like a fumble or something. Oh, we stopped him! 
Wow, that is clutch and a half. It really is. That is so clutch. And that's an interception. Oh, it's a penalty, actually. Can we get down the field? Thank you to Childers, the youngster that could have been better. Third and two. We're going to go. Wow. Okay, so I have to give credit there for the decision to go for it. Now, we didn't convert it, which is probably going to be the end of our playoffs. Uh, so we have the ball now, and it's all tied up. I honestly feel like I'm... What is going on, EA? Like, let's be honest. If it's not mutt-related, EA doesn't work on it. By the way, I am actually going to make a rule. I made... I was going to make a rule, and I didn't mention it. But from now on in, I am actually going to allow us to play the final two minutes. Oh, my God. Our quarterback has long, long blonde hair. But I'm allowing us to play the final few minutes of the game so the last two minutes once the two minute warning hits we can play there's gonna be games where either we kick ass or i don't even want to play it and that is rough as we get sacked and the clock is dripping i can't choose a play i'm just gonna call uh game flow because i have no time for this but the rule is going to not extend into the, the overtime so you know if i can somehow turn the team back into a contender for the match it doesn't mean that we're going to be playing the overtime as well. We're only going to be playing the two-minute warning. This could be a touchdown. Francisco's really good. No, he's not. No! Hurry up to the line. Hurry up to the line. We're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. No! No! You can tell. You can tell it's not going to happen. No! Pitch it! Fuck! <laughs> I'm so angry because we got it off, but I obviously had to spam it. My little fingers off my thumb. It's only my thumb, but um, I had to spam it and we double tapped it. Could you imagine if I would have spammed it, gotten it, and then ended up winning the game or at least bringing it to overtime with the throw to the end zone? Of course, our fumbler. I call him, I accidentally call him our fumbler instead of our running back because that's what he is. Oh my god. Uh, we do have the re-signs and players. Very important ones too. Friend, uh, Francisco is definitely the most important. So we will re-sign him. Uh, he's, he's supposed to be good. I don't know how he's not. He just isn't. Um, fumbling like more than I've ever seen anyone and just playing poorly. Uh, this guy's probably, yeah, I was about to say, he's got to be super sought after. He looks good, but he doesn't have development trade anyways. Um, Python. We're just going to go to the draft, which I don't even know if we have anyone to take. Once again, just as per usual, it's we have the talent. We have the development trade. The guys just aren't developing, and it's rough. Sim until you get lucky. And speaking of getting lucky, our draft position is definitely not of that. How good with this guy? Oh, I got to trade up for him. He is way too cool not to take. Wait, what did that say? Did that say he had... F I was about to say, I thought he had first. This guy is definitely really good, though. Slow! Wow! I can see why, though, because he's actually really good, but... Slow development trade. That just proves you can't draft tight ends. I'm going into the draft. Maybe they'll draft somebody decent for us. Highly doubt it. Here comes the 10-6 and six Patriots. Here we go. Let's see what we're looking like. Okay, 9-7 and seven again. All right. The Browns fell victim to the Patriots passing game. I mean, if you guys want to see uh, our uh, non-cheatiness, it's irrelevant since we only did go 9-7, and seven, and we're probably going to lose first game again. Our guy has a completely down of a season. Uh, Deloach actually played very well. The backup running back had 10 touchdowns as well. So uh, overall, the touchdowns weren't really down. It's just that it was moved from offensive passing to offensive rushing. Do we have any sort of sack total? Not really. Again, just overall less opportunities, it would appear. Uh, we did have a lot of, you know, touchdowns in the run game. Great kick returning and punt returning to your defense, and they go from 29th in yards to 6. Don't know how that, you know, kind of stuff happens, but hey. That's EA for you, I'll tell you that. And this Husted guy's got to be a 90, yeah, he's 93. I was going to say he's a 99, but there's, the proof was there. Uh, so Henry Womack. Yeah, this Husted guy wins like every award every year, just about. And we didn't get a single one, I would assume. Oh, we almost got best linebacker. Fawn John almost won it, but he didn't. Spend all of our XP real quick and get on to this 
loss, making it, I think, the first rebuild all year where we haven't won a single playoff game. And even if we win, it's still rough. It's still rough nonetheless. So we are the 85 overall Patriots against the 83 Bills. Um, we're decent. We're an 85 overall, which makes us probably one of the better teams in the league. So they, I believe... Why would we try a fucking 63-yard field goal in this snow? I thought we lost. Oh, my. What is going on? We won the game, but are you serious? Are you are you kidding me right now? How in the world do you make that call? Oh, 63-yard field goal when all we need to do is pin them deep and prevent the... Oh my god, so the running back actually did finally play well. Uh, it's funny, as I mentioned, no sacks, but yet we actually had a few of them. Uh, Randall did very well, and Bull, our kicker missed both of his field goals. Almost made it last year? They were very close, very close. What is their overall? They are an 84, we are an 86 now. And uh, the Chiefs, they do have a chance, and they're proving it, but it is picked off by McGowan. So we actually might win this game, and that's a huge play to Childers, and that's a touchdown. So a much better win, I think, even though our defense is supposed to... Well, actually, it's not over, uh, but even though our defense is supposed to be the reason, uh, he does make the field goal, so it is an eight-point game, giving them a chance. Ooh, I thought that was a fumble. And second and 15, a huge play to Deloach, and uh, that was actually really uh, important, as that might be the game... Is it? It is the game. So we win. We actually win by eight. And I thought I was our quarterback. It's like, oh, he's wearing number 12 this week. I wonder what, what he's going to wear next week. Uh, let's see the game. And it felt like a decent one. And our quarterback actually played really well. But he threw two interceptions. I mean, it could happen to anyone. It's rare. But, it, I mean, if you ever think about it, two interceptions is not hard to throw in the NFL. You could easily make two bad decisions. Both of them get picked off. Like, you see it all the time where a quarterback makes a bad decision and it's not capitalized on what ends if you get really unlucky and by the way this guy absolutely killed it for them play last week jason myers that was a big defining factor in that game was when they decided to go for a 60 freaking yard field goal and missed it of course why has Derek carr got his tongue out like that is that his tongue why would you have your tongue out when you're about to throw it i see a lot of people a lot of quarterbacks do that though which is weird someone hits you while you're not looking for looking expecting it excuse me and bam no tongue for you you just bit your own tongue off oh well what do y'all look at this the good old jaguars we're at their home too so jaguars the ender of our lives 83 overall to their 80 or 86 overall to their 83 overall we have the better team but do we have the better scheme the answer is no it's 100 percent no Oh, damn, look at that negative 59-yard kick. Interesting. Uh, getting down the field decently here. Oh, okay, it's a penalty on the defense. That is so... Oh, that's a turnover. Yep, you could see it. You could easily see it. God damn, and this is not looking good. They most likely are going to score a touchdown, and they do. Can the offense turn this thing around? Please, it's a pen... Uh, it's a sack. What?! Wait, what is this? Oh. Remember the two-minute warning rule. I can't come in yet. He made the field goal at least. Two-minute warning rule. Please give me a chance. Here we go, guys. Make the play. They're definitely going to be able to hit that field goal, man. Give us a reason to play. He missed. Don't. Ah! Get the fuck out of the way of that ball. Lloyd could very well be one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. We're going to take a look. Oh, he's got it. That's a touchdown. Oh, we, they're going to probably ice us on this extra point. Lloyd, I thought he was good, but I had no idea he was that good. He is actually really good, to be fair. And, uh, oh, shit. life <laughs> i was legit not even kidding i was going to turn off the game because i was like i can't believe i just did it 
I can't believe I just did that. But we just got the outside kick. What is if that was like what that was my plan all along? What what are you guys talking about? I obviously meant to miss that. Oh, that's a good throw. He's out of bounds. Okay. So Alright, we're gonna win we're gonna get to the Super Bowl most likely. I mean I could very well miss the field goal as well. Okay, I EA. Don't don't play that game with me, alright? Let's Is this game fucking joking? That was the only chance I had. Did I hit it? Holy shit, man. Is EA fucking kidding me? Well, let's just show the stat line while he's rushing to get the field goal unit out there. I can't believe I made that. That was a clutch move by me, though. Like, I guess it doesn't really matter, actually. I don't know if you waste time if you kick it at full power or not. The, I mean, as unrealistic and f honestly stupid that ending was, it was still fun as hell. And, like, that's, like, the craziest, like, set of plays that's ever happened to me in Madden history. Like, not even a question. Darby Randall, man, you are so good. Three picks by them, which is honestly a joke. But we're on to the Super Bowl in the most realistic fashion in NFL history. Oh, wow. I didn't even think about this. How many years? What is this? 2025? What anniversary would this be of the real Super Bowl? Is this like dead on the 15th year? I think technically it'd be the 14th year. Either way, it's still pretty spectacular. Um, 86 overall against the 81 Giants. And we're finally playing a home game, which, I mean, that's how much is how much you want to call it a home game. And they do punt it, so it's finally someone's special teams coach. Uh, coach? I almost called him a coordinator, and I mixed it up. They, uh, they finally make the right call, and this is... I hope it's an overtime game, because they look like they might actually come out here with a walk-off touchdown. Maybe not this... Oh, I can come into the game. What am I doing? What am I doing? Ah, but that's not fun. Now, nah, I'm going to let... In these situations... Okay, that's the rule. If it's tied or we're leading, I can't come in the game. That's the rule. And we're about to run out of clock. And it is overtime. So, the uh, Giants do get the ball first. And they do convert there in third and three. What is this? <gasps> Wait, what? What? Oh, they recovered. Okay. I think they recovered the, the fumble. Okay. Nah, I lied. The game's broken. Yeah, this is the fair situation because they had a punt after the fumble and uh, they recovered it. But, of course, it was like a loss of like 15 or 10 or something like that. So this is the actual correct thing to do. And this is the cornerback that was actually really fast. Let's take a look. Oh, I'm using him. Oh, he's got room to the outside. He's got a chance to take this one all the way. Oh, Holy shit, I kind of feel like I cheated though, once again. To be fair, he is really fast. Like, 94 plus speed on this game is ridiculous. And we win the Super Bowl, I don't care. We won the Super Bowl. The craziest, most miraculous goddamn playoff drive, playoff run in the history of runs. Why are there so many white players with blonde fucking long hair that are most likely quarterbacks? Let's be honest, number 15 is a pretty weird number for a wideout. But it is ironically more common than a quarterback but yeah the way they're showing him definitely looks like he is a uh, quarterback um our guy didn't throw a pick very poor performance but he didn't throw a pick to be fair the loach average performance uh no one really did anything insane uh maybe defensively there is something defensively von john was very solid as per usual tyree coats or tire coats uh, actually does something for once in the biggest stage uh, Rodenhauser, very important pick. Um, I believe he actually might have... If, did he force a fumble as well? Because he's going to be my... Uh, no, he didn't. Who was the one that forced it? Tolik. It was definitely Tolik. He re so it did glitch out. Yeah, I don't feel bad about cheating. Quote, unquote, cheating for the punt return. Because it says right there he recovered it. Which means that we should have had the ball at the 25-yard line of the touchdown, which is exactly or really close to where we punt returned it. So I don't feel bad at all, actually, because it, it said it right there. He recovered it, but yet we had to punt it, and then the whole glitch happened. So I think we should have actually had that. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's what happened. Um, the defense stepped up. They definitely did their job. And uh, overall, 
not a bad uh, not a bad rebuild. It was it was fun. It was something new. Let me know what you guys thought of it. Uh, maybe subscribe if you are new. I bring at least one rebuild a week, and uh, I want to make it two, but these take so long to record. I just I just don't get around to it. I really don't. Um, I barely even get around to the one rebuild because it's just it takes so long, and I'm just like ah. Uh, I want to do a rebuild, but I really don't want to deal with all the fucking editing. And the only thing that I don't like is the editing, which is, I would assume most people would agree with me, the worst part of anything to do with YouTube is editing, but we do it because we love you. <laughs> so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Uh, maybe check out the next video, which I have no idea what our next video is going to be, but check it out whenever that comes. And uh, hopefully I see you guys next video, but until next video... See ya! So this isn't the first time you're hearing from me, or maybe it is, but we're back with a Niners rebuild, and, uh, we are the new coach. What is going on, guys? We are back with another video, and technically this is Sunday night, so I believe Randy Moss is still in pack.